Alright, back for another day out here on the Delta. Couldn't really decide which way I was going to go from this launch. So, I let my wife decide. She told me to go left. So if we get skunked, it's her fault. <laughs> now we're just out here to enjoy the day. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. A little bit of wind, but that's okay as long as it just stays like this. We've been out here a few times and the wind was pretty brutal, but right now a little chop is not going to hurt. We're going to start out throwing this choppo. And uh, my goal today is to try to get at least one fish on a frog today. I have yet to catch a fish on a frog out here, so that's my that's my goal for the day. There's a fish. He was right up against those two. First one in the boat. Not a bad guy to start out the day. Keeper size. 13 and a quarter. I'm not gonna weigh this one. He's just about a pound. We got one in the boat. Let's uh, we know we can catch them on the Senko. Let's go back to the top water. It's already August. Summertime's wrapping up. Hoping to get on a good top water frog bite out here today. Oh. Mr. Froggy disappeared on that one. You know I gotta follow it up with the Cinco. Oh, my boat just hit something and I almost fell out of the boat. I hit whatever that is right there and I almost fell out of the boat. Oh my goodness. I had one for a split second. So you can see he moved the moved the O-ring. <clears throat> there we go. That's a good chopper fish. Ah. Uh, I felt him come off. <clears throat> That's a bummer. That was a good fish. Well, this is a spot where I've caught a big one in the past. Or, not a big one, but a decent one. Right over here in this corner. It. Oh my goodness. Jesus, come on, buddy. Coming up on coming up on one of the spots where we did miss a fish on the chopper. We had him hooked for a little bit. Right on the end of this point over here. So I'm hoping the time that I've given him to think about what he did wrong has passed and he'll be willing to bite again. Alright, well, that was a bust. We're gonna go that way. Alright, so I'm gonna go hit this island up over here. I've had some success around that one. And then I'm gonna go try to tuck myself in 
on the back side of this island and uh, well I got a little fish here and my and I mean little uh, took my worm all right, fish number two. Thanks, bud. So I rudely interrupted what I was saying. But I was saying I was gonna go try to tuck myself in behind that island, get out of the wind. And maybe see if I can get on a frog bite over there. All right, Doug, I found me a pack of these pop shads. I'm gonna give them a try out here. It's been a slow day out here on the Delta. I was wanting to catch one on a frog, but I haven't had any luck. So we're gonna try the pop shads. All right, that's kind of an interesting bait. Definitely different. I can see it working though. Well, Doug, I tried it for a while. No luck, but we'll try it again. I can definitely see how it would work out here on the Delta. I am not having any luck out here today. So I'm gonna change some things up. One of the things I'm gonna change up is I'm gonna go to this LV500. I see a lot of shad popping around out here. So, I'm going to throw this on a, I mean, maybe even run into a striper. Seriously? That was literally the first cast with this LV500. And he just came off. Unbelievable. <sighs> well, at least I got to see it. It wasn't a giant fish, but oh my goodness. That thing barely hit the water out there. Could tell it was going to come off. like I threw that thing right into that fish's mouth. I was hoping there was some more out there, but you know, when I first started bass fishing, one of my favorite baits was the old Bill Lewis rattle trap. And I used to almost always throw it, no matter what time of year. And for some reason, I've gotten away from throwing the lipless. And I don't know why. It's a good bait. It's pretty shallow right here and then it drops off to a nice deep channel. So I was casting right over in this area when I hooked that one earlier. The very first cast. I think we gotta get up closer to that weed line. small guy that one was caught on the lipless thanks bud like I was saying there's a big grass flat up here and it drops off to some deeper water I'm trying to burn this thing right along that grass edge and uh, that's right where I picked up this other little fish here
right on. Right on, little guy. But hey, I set out to have a goal of catching at least one fish on a frog. And I caught it. He's, he's definitely a tiny little guy. I mean, I'm sure he's 12 inches. 12 and a half, but man, that sure was fun. Let's let this guy go. Thanks for the enjoyment there, buddy. That was fun. All right, so that's the first Delta frog fish I've caught. That was fun. If it weren't for this yak attack pole and this mount from Navarre, there's no way I'd be able to stay in this area. This wind has just been brutal, but this this pole and uh, uh, system here from Navarre, it works out really well. It's keeping me in place. I actually think I saw, I think I saw the weeds moving for that fish coming after this frog. So I kind of just paused it there on the edge and man, he hit it. That sure was fun. Just a little guy, but man, was that a blast. I guess I need to start heading back to the ramp, but man, it's so hard when everywhere you look out here. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. And it's just as far as you can see, just bass heaven out here. There's like a little, I don't know, muskrat or weasel or something. All right, well, I think that's going to about wrap it up for the day. It's getting a little warm out here, running out of battery life and memory card and food. I'm getting pretty hungry. We did manage to put a few fish in the boat, including a frogfish, which was a, a goal at the beginning of the day. So we at least accomplished that goal and caught some fish. And definitely nothing. Definitely nothing epic out here. Still was a fun day. Still enjoy it. Every time I come out here, this place is just so beautiful. And if I catch a fish, I feel I feel like the trip was worth it. And we were able to catch a few fish, so I'm okay with that. If you'd like these type of videos and you're interested in seeing more and you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Love to have you come back and check out these fishing adventures. So, until the next time, I think that's going to do it. Thank you guys.